Hello again, everybody. Now, a tutorial about the basics of how to use a multimeter. A multimeter's functions are to measure voltage, AC volts, DC volts, current for DC and AC, ohms, capacitance, diode tests. So we're going to go over the basic functions. Now, as I said before in, in uh, previous tutorials, <clears throat> the difference between this multimeter that I'm using, and this is the best to be used for automotive, these are auto range digital multimeters. That means that once you put it to measure something, you don't have to look for the proper range. In other words, if I'm measuring a battery here, nine volts, I don't have to look for the <clears throat> for the range, nine volts, uh, twenty volts, fifty volts. I don't. It automatically goes to the proper range that will give me the proper decimal places, enough for me to see the measurement. In this place, it's seven point three six. That means that. 7.36 means that I have enough decimal places. It can also show me 7.3 or it can show me 7. But it gives me 1, 2, 3, at least 3 digital places that I can see. So therefore, it automatically goes to that. Let's turn it off and then we'll see what we're, what we're talking about. I'm going to turn it off. This is DC volts. Out of limit, OL. It looks for the proper range, and then it looks for the proper scale, so to say. So, AC volts, this is AC volts. This little line represents a sine wave, AC. <clears throat> As I made a chart over here, AC volts, a line, a flat line, a straight line, represents DC volts, like a battery. AC volts would be for an outlet. Now, it's just not AC volts but you, want, you can measure the frequency. We all know we have 120 volts at the outlet. When you put a load on it, it might drop. So therefore, AC volts plus 60 hertz. And you're supposed to get 60 hertz, not 50 hertz. Now, if you're on a lower scale, let's say I'm measuring a very low DC volts. Let's say half of a volt. Half a volt, I can measure millivolts on the millivolt scale. So therefore, this is a flat line plus a broken line means it's DC. It, DC means it is constant. It does not change in amplitude. AC means it is changing in amplitudes. If it's 60 hertz cycles, which is RMS, which I explained in videos what RMS means, not peak, not peak to peak. RMS means the root mean square means the same voltage that we would use to get the proper DC voltage for a load. And I made a video about this. Anyway, so what we're concerned with is that the voltage is constantly changing. 120 RMS is equal to, is equal to 170 peak or 340 peak to peak. We're not concerned about that right now anyway. It, but the main idea is AC volts means there's no polarity. DC volts, we have polarity, as you see a battery. Positive and negative, we have to put it correctly. If we do not put it correctly, we will get a negative sign over here. That means all we, do, all we have to do is switch the leads around. So therefore, that goes for that. Millivolts is DC, means it's constant. A constant 9 volt battery means it is constant all the time. AC volts, again, it goes like this. It goes up, it changes direction 120 times a second. Uh, ohms is if you want to measure resistance, if you want to measure a, a, a fuse in, in an automotive. We measure the resistance to see if it's open, if it was blown, or we measure, obviously, the DC volts across it, as I made videos about that. Diode, if you want to measure diodes in an alternator, you can measure a diode test. But mostly we use these. Current is current that flows in a circuit, not voltage, but current flow. We have for DC or AC, and the same thing. This is in milli, and this is in micro, current, as you see over here. See all these. <clears throat> Ohms, this is millivolts, DC, this is DC, and this is AC. 
This is current. As you can see, we can either have DC or AC. DC or AC, this is micro. We don't really need micro. We're only using this one, the positive goes in here and the negative goes in here. If you wanna measure current, you keep the black one here and you move the, the, the red one to this one. Therefore, you are protected until 10 amps. Otherwise, you could put it in here for small current measurements. Now, show you some features and why I always recommend these type of multimeters. As you can see, let's do it again. Auto range, see, outer limit, auto limit, over limit, and then it says 7.02. Now, there's another function over here where you have minimum, maximum, as you see. Now it says maximum. Maximum means the maximum voltage. Let's say you have a voltage that's changing in, a in amplitude. Let's say it's 7.12, 7.1, 7.2. Which one is the correct measurement? So I could go to maximum 7.12 on this battery. The next one is the minimum, 7.08. What would be the average? Somewhere in between. 7.08 is the average. So once more. Maximum, 7.12. Minimum, 7.08. The average is 7.08. So therefore, if you have something just unstable, a reading that just keeps on changing, Go for the average or go for the maximum, the highest point, or the minimum. And that's what this feature is for. Now, this is for to make the, put the light on. See, the light. Easy. This that we spoke about before is in hertz. And I'll get back to that. This is hold. So therefore, as I made a video about this, one more time, we're going to go. If you want to change it, you go like this. Put it off or change the scale. Again, 7.08 on this. And it gives you the linear scale, the analog scale over here, as you can see. Now, if I put hold, sometimes let's say I want to measure mass airflow sensor, TPS sensor, and it's a t in a tight spot. And I just want to put, touch the probe there. I don't want to keep on putting the probe there. Let's say there are fans there or something like that. So I could put the, uh, on hold. Hold means I put in memory. So the measurement that I get, let's say this is a TPS sensor, or let's say it's a mass airflow sensor, or a MAP sensor, um, uh, 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 or a, a, a IAT sensor, um, uh, what's it called, or a um, coolant temperature sensor, any sensor, or a PCM that gives me 12 volts or 5 volts reference, as I discussed in many of them. Over here it says DC volts, we see. Hold me is I put in, in memory. Watch, when I take away the lead, let's say I, I probe it, I take away the lead, as I do over here, I just took away the lead. Now, it still holds it in memory. That's the beautiful part about it. I don't have to keep the probe there to hold it, especially in a tight spot. Especially in automotive, you have very tight spots, and sometimes you're a little picky where you want to put in all that. Just probe it, touch it, put it on hold in memory, and boom. There's your, there's your measurement. I don't even have to hold. I don't even have to still have the connection there. That's the beauty of it. Now, hertz. Let me say hertz. We're going to AC. As you see, this is AC. Now, what I'm measuring now, if I would put it on an outlet, I will measure 120, 121. What I'm measuring now is just the lights. The voltage and the frequencies of the lights because the lights give off 60 hertz and they give off radiation and they give off some small uh, amount of uh, a voltage small enough for this to measure seven millivolts six millivolts so if we want to go to hertz we go to hertz you would measure 60 hertz of the cycle of of the outlet if you want to measure that or anything that we want range hold now this one i'm going to do this is if you want to measure ohms if you want to measure ohms and you want to have the probes the first thing when you to the first thing and i should have said it before before you start using a meter make sure your probes 
your cables are working properly. And you do that when you touch them together. When you touch them together, uh, you should have about 0.1 ohms, 0.2 ohms. If you have more than that, discard the cables. Also, if you don't want to keep on touching a point, you put this on. This, see, will beep. So once you touch it, you don't have to look at the meter. All you have to listen for is the beep. Once I touch a fuse and it's and it's intact, it's good, the, the fuse, I just put the probe there. I don't have to look at the, the, the meter. I just listen for the beep. A beautiful feature. Most of the uh, 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 multimeters have this feature. So, we do, relative means, as I said, you have to put your probes together. You should measure about 0.2 ohms. If you measure 1 ohm or 2 ohms, that's too much. Disregard it. So, if we're measuring a low resistor, and in automotive we don't have to really worry about this, but let's say in the olden days, if you measure 1 ohm resistor, remember to keep in mind that the probes have also some resistance. 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So we would have to subtract. If we measure 1.1 ohm, we would have to subtract about 0.2 ohms, depending on the cables. This automatically, automatically, this delta automatically has it in mind for you. So it automatically subtracts it, and it gives you the proper value. So it will subtract the 0.2 ohms, <coughs> and it will show you 0.9 ohms. The reason I can't do this is because I have one hand available instead of two. But that's the reason for it. Other thing is, as you see here, the blue. The blue is when you press the button, you get the second feature. This is the symbol for capacitance. So what, on the white one, it is ohms. On this one, it is capacitance, the blue one. Over here also, you can have this feature. So if you move it this way, so I'm going to measure current, and I have to change the probes. This is milliamps. This is DC. Now, I want to put on AC. Let's do it again. And change to AC. So when you hit the blue, that means this will be available. The, the AC will be available. And really, this is DC. This DC is available when it, in a normal default position. This should be in white. And this should be in white, really. Because the only thing that's available when you put in blue is AC, not DC. So that's how a fluke did it, but it doesn't seem correct to me. But anyway, again, you want to measure DC? Here are what I did for you. AC volts is on that range. DC volts is a constant, a battery, a power source. If you want to measure something and not hold the probe... Put it on hold. You want to measure frequency of your 120 uh, volts outlet? Put it on hertz. Ohms, you can measure fuse, fuses or anything to, with respect to ground to see if your grounds open up in automotive with respect to chassis or anything. So I hope this was informative. Please subscribe to my channel, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. I hope you'll find many videos about electronics, um, and I hope that it will help you. Please subscribe to it or leave comments, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I know we're all familiar what happened in uh, over the weekend, what happened in Colombia, our condolences to the families. We hope that better things should happen in the future instead of tragedies like that. So, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next video.